because it's going to bring, uh, you know, our hopes up and make us be more optimistic for the future. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. So is Fatima, is this your first uh, lead role? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's really special for me. Well, congratulations. What a role. I mean, as a the lead actor in this movie, it's a, it's, it's a heavy movie. Yeah, definitely. Right? And I didn't know that this miracle actually happened. My mom's like, oh, I knew about it. And I was like, oh, I didn't. Um, yeah. I mean, we all know about the Virgin of Guadalupe in Mexico, um, but I had never heard about it also happening in Portugal in 1917, almost 100 years, yeah. uh, more than 100 years ago. So did you know about this event or did you learn about it as you learned I more? Heard, I heard about it when I was little, though, really little. My grandma knew the story from <laughs> And so she was really excited when I got the casting, you know, for this role. She was just amazing. And I started reading, you know, more in depth about the apparitions and step by step to get to know the story better, of course. And after I got chosen, I went straight to Marco, director, to see what he wanted to make Lucia look, you know, an act around her family. And from then, we just, he explained the whole story and how the movie was going to be, you know, made from what point of view. And yeah. So you play Lucia, you and your two other cousins, Jacinta and Francisco, see an apparition and nobody believes you. <laughs> no, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So what was it like shooting those scenes? Because people, I'll say, you know, they're mean, not mean to you, but they don't believe you. They're trying to tell you to, you know, uh, tell the truth, don't be uh, a liar. So they're mistreating you a bit in the movie. So what was it like shooting those scenes and did they apologize afterwards? <laughs> well, when we were filming, I knew everyone, most of the extras were really nice to me behind the scenes. And when it was action, they were like, oh, mean to me. There was a scene where I was in the village going out of my uh, store or something and someone tells me she should be shadowing in a convent. Your daughter's crazy. And I was just mm -hmm. like, you know, acting as if Lucia was like, you know, what is going on? But me inside was like, I know all these people. Uh, it's, true. it's cool. So I read somewhere that you had to learn what a child in 1917 would act like because it's very different from today. We're a little, probably a little more confident, a little more out there. Yeah, what helped me was mainly, you know, the wardrobe and hair, makeup, the set are all around us. There was no technology. It was all nature and animals. And that really helped me get into more 1917 kind of spirit, you know. And also Jorge and Alejandra, my cousins in the movie, when we filmed the first apparition scene, it was really cool, you know, to get to see all that nature around us and to be surrounded by the sheep. I love animals, so it was a great <laughs> learning experience for me also, you know. And I read that a lot of the crew were Portuguese and a lot of their grandparents were there when at the day called Miracle of the Sun. Did they yeah. tell you about stuff or what they heard? Yeah, there were so many people that were in set, you know, and extras too that were telling me lots of stories about that. And I was really intrigued about it. It's amazing that they got to be in set, you know, it was brilliant. And have you, I saw the actual picture of the kids. Did you get a chance to see the picture? Yes, of course. I saw it at the end of the scene and I obviously investigated it to see, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't recall if they mentioned this in the movie, but uh, in the ap when the apparitions, when the kids were seeing it, it was told that Lucia, who you play, would live a long life to tell the story, but the other kids maybe wouldn't. And I read that they died in the 1918 pandemic. Oh my God, it was just like, oh. Yes, it's really touching to see that. And did you bond with the other kids who were playing your cousins? Definitely. From the minute we met, we knew that we would make an iconic trio. And we did because as the weeks were, you know, going and as the time was passing, we became more close and united. And behind the scenes, we were just dancing and laughing all the time. And we really just ate together, I had breakfast, lunch, dinner. We were always together. So we just developed this kind of family, you know, bond. And it was really hard to say goodbye to them. Now, the movie was supposed to come out in 2017 to celebrate the 100th anniversary, but do you think this is even a better time for the message of this film? I think that it's 
right now is really special that it's coming out in the middle of a pandemic, of course, because it's gonna bring uh, you know, our hopes up and make us be more optimistic for the future. And uh, it's a really, it's a message that has to be spread. And I feel like this time in specific, it's really good that it's coming out right now, you know? And what was it like working with uh, Goran, I can't even pronounce his name, Viznajik? Yeah. <laughs> and, and Joaquim uh, Delmeda, who we've seen throughout, you know, they're veteran of, of movies. It was amazing. I, I filmed with Goran, uh, the scene I remember most was the scene, a really funny scene at the beginning, where he's there and interviewing us three. And I, I previously saw him on Timeless. I love that show and I saw him there and he's a bad guy there and on Fatima. But in real life, he's like so down to earth and funny and such a nice person. It's so good to see, you know, he's such a good actor, you know, for interpreting someone, you know, so tough and like a bad guy. So it was really cool. I remember behind the scenes, he was explaining all the props. Look, this is from 1917, huh? <laughs> really funny and Joaquin Almeida he was I remember that most of our scenes were in the church the church scenes and behind the scenes he was all, always explaining to me how it's really good to know languages he knows seven languages and I was like wow I know two and French a little bit of French but uh, still it's really amazing all the tips uh, that we shared and they were amazing people on. All right Stephanie thank you so much powerful performance and Fatima. Thank you so much. All right good luck. Thank you.